You're gonna read some fan fiction a fan wrote about you. What does that mean? So a fan wrote a story about you. They had a nerve to do that, no? Why even advertise it? Drop the case. It might be good. You oh, don't know. It might be good. Oh, yeah. They didn't leave their name, did they? I need glasses for that, buddy. I can't read without glasses. Would you please hand it over to me? Have fun. Grandma Lil, tasty, what are they talking about? Tasty wrinkles. Why did they say tasty wrinkles? What did they mean by tasty? Who wrote this? Maybe you wrote it. I didn't, Grandma, I'm not writing a fan fiction about you. I'm not that kind of grandson. No. Someone tweeted me this and told me to share it with you. So oh, share it with me. That's but what I'm doing. But they didn't tell me to share it with everybody else. I, mean, I got wrinkles. What do they care about my wrinkles? I'm not worried about the wrinkles. Apparently the wrinkles are tasty. So let's just read it to find out. Grandma Lil is the hottest woman I ever laid eyes on. Her con something smile makes me overwhelmed and fills the dark areas of my heart with light. This sounds like a man. I just want to click her, lick her, lick, L-I-C-K, and see what her wrinkles taste like. Shame on them. I've been thinking about that every day since I saw her on VidCon two years ago. Actually, I didn't just see her, I stalked her. I don't know about nobody stalking me. Watching Lil eat pizza in the lobby is the sight I never forget. I'm so happy to still have the photos. Why, they're taking me pictures? They were taking me pictures while I'm eating pizza? So it will never escape my memory. She's everything I want in a woman. The wrinkles, the messy hair, the Grandma Lil's glasses. The list could go on for years. I think he were a perfect match because I'm a little bit taller than her. Oh, that's great. My husband was six foot and I didn't mind it and I was five five. And we could fit perfectly on a bed. Shame on you, you stalker. I was a VidCon because my daughter, oh, you got a daughter, wants to meet Kevin and Lil. So I had to surprise her. I did not want to go. My wife made me, oh, he's married all the while and he's stalking me. Shame on him. You are going to go to hell. You're not going to go up to heaven, but you're going to go to hell. But oh, thank God I went because the day of their meet up was the day I fell in love. Shame on you, you're married, you're gonna be stalking me. I always had a thing for older women, but I didn't know that I would fall for a lady almost 100 years old. 88 and 100, that is different. I wonder if she could fall for a guy 40 years younger than her. No, you would be my grandson. After VidCon ended, I became obsessed with Grandma Lil. She obsessed that my wife divorced me. I don't care if your wife divorced you. I hope you go to hell. You're going to go. I know living by... Oh, you're living by myself and moving across country. Be the same state as Lil. Oh, I don't think that's nice. It's been a year since I lived in the same town as Lil. And I grew tired of fascinating about her. So I just decided to take the next step and surprise her at the pool she swims. I know she would be able to resist my fit dad, B.O.D. She was in her one-piece bathing suit and looking sexier than ever. He's nuts. You're, you're sick. You need a doctor. As soon as she walked into the community pool, she waved to the pool and said, Hi, fellas and girls. I never said that, you jerk. I have never been more aroused. I've fallen asleep in those four words for the past two years. I just couldn't control myself. I pulled her into the pool by her legs. That is a lie. I wouldn't put this on, Kev. I mean it. Why? No. No, because it's ugly. It's fiction. No. It's not real. Lil, I love you so much, and you are my Instagram baddie. Baddie. B-A-D-D-I-E. She learned to kiss me, and I taste her lips for the first time. I don't know why he's doing this. Since meeting her in the pool, we have been dating for five months, 
and I could not be happier. He is a big liar. I'm also very excited to announce that she is pregnant. Don't believe that for the world. We are expecting a baby boy in the winter. You're not writing this up, Kevin. This is all a lie. We just created a YouTube channel together. And because we are going to the family Vogger, family Vogger, and no, Kevin is not part of this. He was in an accident and never come before Lil and I. The end. I don't like this. This guy is very sick. You cannot put this on. Grandma, it's fake. How do I know it's fake? It's a fan. How do they know the people fake? I would never hang around with a guy 40 because he could be my son. Thanks for watching. I'm a celebrity and I do not need this nonsense. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. <laughs>